Hi Madam, hi everyone. I'm Shara Tangling from Group 9 Incominions Section 101. My matrix number is BG1911-0347. So today I'm going to share a topic that can done by us individually in our daily life, which is recycling. So what is recycling? I'm pretty sure you all know about that, right? Yes. But just let me to tell you all again what is recycling in this video. So, recycling is the process of converting waste materials into new materials and objects. Recycling can prevent the waste of potentially useful materials and reduce the consumption of fresh raw materials. Recycling is a key component of modern waste reduction and is the third component of the 3R waste hierarchy which is reduce, reuse and recycle. Recyclable materials include many kinds of glass, paper, cardboard, metal, plastic, tires, textiles, batteries, and electronics. The composting or other reuse of biodegradable waste such as food or garden waste is also a form of recycling. Materials to be recycled are either delivered to a household recycling center or picked up from curbside bins, then sorted, cleaned, and reprocessed destined to manufacturing new products. Next, let me tell you all who are watching this video about the benefits of recycling. First benefits I'm going to tell you all is about the recycling can conserve natural resources. Recycling paper and wood can save the trees and forests. Yes, all of you can plant new trees, but you can't replace the virgin rainforest and ancient woods lands when they are lost. Next is recycling plastic. Recycling plastic means creating less new plastic, which is a good thing to us, especially as it's usually made from fossil fuel hydrocarbon. Next is metals. Recycling metals means there's less need of risky, expensive and damaging mining and extraction of new metals ores. Last but not least is glass. Recycling glass reduces the need to use new raw materials like sand. But supplies of some types of sand are starting to get low around the world. It sounds hard to believe it. Next, recycling saves energy. It is also a benefit from recycling. Used recycled materials in the manufacturing process uses considerably less energy than that required for producing new products from raw materials. Even when comparing all associated costs including the transport and etc. There are also extra energy savings because more energy is required to extract, refine, transport and process raw materials ready for industry compared with providing industry ready materials. So now you all sure will ask me whether they have done this recycle task in my house, right? So now let me show you all how I recycle the materials that can be recycled in my house and show you all the recycle corners in my house. Let's go! So now let me show you what is the recyclable materials that can found in my house. This one is the cardboard, this one is plastic bottles, and this one is the tin. So now I will show you how I categorize them. This one is the cardboard, so I will put inside the cardboard area. And this one is the plastic bottles, I will put inside the plastic areas. And this one is the tin, I will put inside the aluminium area. So other than that, I also will recycle the papers. So after I categorize them, I will deliver them to a household recycling center in every two months. This is how I recycle the reused materials that can be found in my house. So in the conclusion, recycle is very important to us and it can help us to save our mother nature. So I hope all of you can make this as a habit and let us to save our planet together. Thank you. Next, let me show the recycle corner in my house.